y'all. So I'm so excited that I get to be with y'all and talk about something that I love and I hope that y'all can grow to love. Today we're going to be talking about how to grow plants and how to keep them um, surviving and living. Um, so raise your hand if you like flowers. Yes, we love flowers. Why do we love flowers? It's because they're beautiful and they're everywhere. You can go outside and you can see them. You can um, have a plant in your home, in your classroom. They're everywhere and they're so beautiful. There are um, so many different colors that you can um, have in flowers. Um, they're awesome. There's roses and tulips and sunflowers. Um, it's wonderful the abundance of flowers and plants that we can grow and obtain. Um, and it's not only flowers. That's what's so awesome is that there's so many things that you can grow. You can grow fruit and vegetables, and that's what a garden is for. Um, if any of your mom, if your moms or your grandparents maybe might have um, a garden that you can get tomatoes from, cucumbers, a bunch of different types of um, foods. It's so awesome that they can grow. Um, great. So. I'm going to show y'all a picture of a flower, and um, I'm going to ask y'all a question about it. Alright, this is a pretty flower. Isn't it so pretty? Surrounded by a bunch of different flowers. Alright, now can anybody tell me where a flower comes from? Yes. Yes, the ground. They come up from the ground and they sprout and they turn into a beautiful plant. It's so awesome. So, I'm going to go over a couple of things that y'all might need in order um, to grow a plant and keep it surviving. We're going to need soil, seeds, water, fresh air outside, and sunlight. Okay? Alright, I'm also going to show y'all a visual aid um, of the plant's life cycle. Just so y'all can kind of see a visual of what it's going to look like and what are the steps in the process of it turning into a beautiful plant. All right, let's look at it together. We have the seeds. We have the seeding, how the seeds go into the soil. Once the, so once the seeds are in the soil and have sunlight, it turns into a baby plant. And then it turns into a plant. And then it turns into... Um, in this case, it turns into fruit. This one, it grew lemons, but it's so neat because you can grow so many different types of things. Like we talked about earlier, it could be flowers, it could be fruit, and um, that's what's so great about it. Alright, so before we get into our activities for today, we are going to be reading a book called The Tiny Seed by Eric Carl. Um, it's a book that talks about what a plant is going to need and what, some, what stuff um, stops plants from growing. So, let's go ahead and let's start reading The Tiny Seed. Alright. It is autumn. A strong wind blows flower seeds. One seed is smaller than the others. Where are the seeds going? One seed flies the highest. One burns the seed. The other seeds blow in the wind. One seed lands on a mountain. The seed cannot grow on the mountain. The other seeds fly on. There we can see the mountains. The seeds fly over the ocean. One seed falls in the water. The small seed flies the lowest. The rest of the seeds fly on. And then we see some fish in the water. One seed lands in the desert. It is hot and cannot grow. The wind pushes the tiny seed along. The wind stops. The seeds fall on the grass. The bird eats one seed. The bird cannot see the tiny seed. The, it is winter. The snow covers the seeds on the ground. A mouse eats a seed. The mouse cannot see the tiny seed. Now it's spring. The seeds grow into a plant. The, 
the tiny seed finally grows into a plant. Children play outside when it's warm. A child steps on a plant. The plant breaks and cannot grow. The tiny seed grew into a tiny plant. The other plant is now a flower. The flower gets picked. A boy picked a flower for his friend. It is now summer. The tiny plant is now a giant plant. People come look at the flower. Look how big that flower is compared to all those people. The birds, bees, and butterflies come visit. They have never seen a giant flower. Sorry about that. It is autumn again. The wind carries the leaves around. Some petals fall off the flower. The wind blows hard. The flowers lose all petals. The seeds fall. The seeds fall off the flower. The seeds blow in the wind. The end. So, a couple of things that we talked about in that book really benefit us in learning how to grow flowers and how to grow plants and keep them living. Um, we talked about how it might be hard for a plant to grow in the mountain because there's not a lot of soil and dirt in order for it to grow and survive. We talked about a seed falling into the ocean. It might be kind of difficult if a seed falls into the ocean. It doesn't have the sunlight at the very bottom of the ocean for it to grow and it doesn't have the air and it doesn't have the soil. Um, we talked about when you pick a flower from the ground, it can't grow anymore. I love picking flowers and I love giving flowers to my friends, but um, once you do that, it stops growing. So there's so many things that we just talked about. Now, I wanna go around and t um, ask y'all to raise y'all's hands and let me know um, what a flower needs to grow and survive, all right? Just some of the stuff that we've talked about so far and see if y'all can kind of remember it and um, raise y'all's hands if y'all can tell me what a plant needs in order to grow and survive. Yes. Seeds. Yes, it needs seeds. That's what is going to make the plant survive. No matter what type of seed you have, whether, whether it's a tomato seed in order to grow tomatoes, whether it's a sunflower seed in order to grow sunflowers, there's multiple different types of seeds we could use, but yes, we do need the seeds water it needs water it needs that nutrients in order for it to grow yes it yes it needs it needs a sun it needs a sun to shine on it those rays to bring it to life and to blossom and grow yes it needs soil it needs that nutrients that dirt leveled on the ground for it to grow through and turn it into a beautiful flower awesome job um i'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you all the, ma the materials um, that we have just discussed, so just so y'all can kind of see a visual of what these look like. So first we have our soil. This is the dirt that we put on the ground and um, have the flower go come out of and grow from. Next we have next we have the seeds. You can see that. Um, then we have water, and then we have the sunlight, which is outside. And we would put our plant by the window in order for the rays and the sun to shine on our flower. All right. Now, all the information that we have learned so far about what a flower needs to grow and survive is displayed on a worksheet that I'm going to pass out to y'all. And we're going to work on, or y'all are going to work on, and then y'all are going to turn into me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the worksheet that I'm going to pass out. All right, plant need. All right, so we have our four main ingredients. We have the light, the water, the air, and the soil. Um, so we are gonna pass this out. Many plants need blank from the sun. Many plants need blank or they will dry out. Many plants need blank to grow their roots in. They get the nutrients they need from the soil. Many plants need blank and blank, which they use to make food. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass that out and have y'all start working on them. All right, and when you're done, you can just put them in the basket right by my desk and we will continue on with today's lesson. All right, now that y'all have turned in y'all's um, worksheets, it is time to do our fun activity, which is grow our own flower. All right, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all again the materials that we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using soil, seeds, water, and we're gonna all, I'm gonna pass around a plastic cup. I'm gonna have a mason jar to show y'all right now, but at home, y'all will probably have a cup that y'all can use. Um, so, next, we're gonna put all these ingredients together and we're gonna put them by our window and we're gonna watch them over time to see them turn into a beautiful plant. All right, so the first thing that we are gonna use is our soil. We are gonna take some of the soil and we are gonna put it into our jar, like so. Now everyone should have three seeds, is what y'all are given. All right, and we are gonna drop these in. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna put some more soil on top to kind of cover it up. All right, that looks, we're gonna put some more in there just so our plant will get to the very top. Now it gets kind of messy, so make sure you have napkins or your mom is around in order to help y'all. Next is we're gonna put our water in there. It's gonna need water um, daily. So we're gonna put our water in. There we go, we can put a little bit more there. We don't wanna overflow it, we want it to just kinda of stay moist. So that looks good. All right, and you're gonna, like I said earlier, you're gonna need to water this daily in order for it to grow. All right, so when you when you see your plant by your window seal, just get a cup of water, pour some in there, and let it sit in the sunlight, and soon, over this next week, you will see a plant grow in your cup. So let's go ahead and take our cup. All right, and we have our window right here. All right. All right, let's. All right. We are gonna leave our mason jar right here and it is going to get the sunlight it needs and it is gonna grow. All right, so we're gonna leave that there and that's what um, y'all are gonna do if y'all's plan at home. All right, guys, um, so that is how we make a plant together. Be sure to wash your hands and um, make sure to use a towel if y'all have one and just know that it's, it might be a little bit messy. All right, so that is all we have for today. So now I wanna go around and I wanna hear back from y'all. I wanna know what y'all learned from today and um, what y'all can take home and um, apply and use and um, grow some awesome plants. Yes. Yes, you learned that plants come in many different forms. That's awesome that you got to learn that today. Yes, it doesn't have to be a flower. It can be food. It can be fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it does need seeds. It does. You can't, it's not just dirt and water and the sun. You need seeds in order to grow what type of plant you want. And one more. Yes, it needs, it needs water. It needs water for it to um, grow and to sprout and to live. Yeah. One more, yeah. Yeah, I love the book too, The Tiny Seed. I think it's a great book. And um, 
it'll be sitting on our shelves when um, y'all come back to school and um, we can read it again if we want to but be sure that y'all watch y'all's plant look over it give it the nutrients it needs give it water keep it in the sunlight um, apply more soil if it needs it and just give it love all right all right awesome job guys i'm so incredibly proud of y'all and um yeah just just um stay safe and um i'm so excited i got to teach y'all about the life cycle of plants all right and i'll talk to y'all later thanks for having me bye